Welcome back scaredy cats. Today I am doing my first ever makeup tutorial where I will be doing three special Halloween makeup looks for you. The first is a spooky dead ghost girl sick person look that I use a lot in short films when I'm making scary movies. The second is my favorite evil bad guy look that I'll use sometimes when I'm playing midnight, other times when I'm playing vampires or other evil people. And the third, of course, is the much anticipated and much asked for Flash Pop makeup tutorial. If you're planning to dress up as Flash Pop or any of the Super Pops for Halloween this year, you should click the links down below where I have listed all of the links to the Super Pops costume pieces you can find on Amazon. If you order them right now, they might still get here in time for Halloween, so make sure that you or your parents buy those up ASAP. And reminder, I will be holding a costume contest this year for Halloween, hopefully the first of many. So if you dress up as a Super Pop, a Bungler, or any other character that you think I might recognize, make sure you post it on Instagram and tag me. The winner of the Halloween costume contest will get a very special prize that I cannot tell you about yet, but if you tune into my Halloween live stream this Saturday at 9 a.m., you'll get a special sneak peek at that grand prize. Okay, now we're ready to get started. Here is a little disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist. I do makeup how I feel is best. Makeup is an art, you should do it however you feel is best for you, and no one can judge you for it. So please do not judge me if I'm not very good at makeup. Okay, first I've gotta take off the makeup I'm currently wearing and get ready to put on my first look. And we're ready to get started on our first look. This makeup look I've used a bunch of times for films when I have played ghosts or sick people or anyone that needs to look spooky and kind of dead. You might recognize this look from a short film I put out earlier this year called Self Isolation. Um, we used this look on my roommate Alexa who was playing a ghost at the time. We're going to start out with the lightest shade of foundation that I own. Concealer brush and a bit of really light colored concealer. I'll put a little bit on my brush, and I'll actually paint it on my lips around the edges to make my lips look really washed out and dead. We're gonna do a little bit of contouring and really make my cheeks look as hollow as possible. And I'm not gonna use any blush at all because I do not want to look um, alive. I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush and this neutral eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna put some eyeshadow under my eyes instead of over. A darker purpley color and I'm gonna just take it under my eyes. Do I look dead yet? Feel free to add some eyeliner and some mascara to this just to make it your eyes stand out a little bit more because the eyes are the scariest thing in your face. Something else that can help with this look is taking that same grayish dark purple around underneath the bones where your eyes are, like here, just to fill it in and make it look a little darker and sunken. Sunken means your eyes look like they've set farther back. And that's something that happens to you when you get older or when you die. And that's about it for this look. And we're back. Did you miss me? This next look is one that I use a lot when playing evil characters. You might recognize variations of it from my YouTube channel, from TikTok, or even from when I've played Midnight on Totally TV. Under eye concealer. Foundation. Then I use a concealer brush to blend in. Contour and blush. Added a little bit of shape to my face, but it needs a bit more work, so let's add some eyebrows. Now we're gonna do some intense eyeshadow, and I mean intense. You can add whatever colors you want to this to make it your thing, but I'm gonna do basic gray and black to make it real dark, and then I might add some touches of purple or red. Midnight, I'd probably add some purple to this, like one of these colors over here. What you can't forget is that you also have to do the underside of your eyes to make them really pop. Now we're gonna add some liquid eyeliner. If 
got two steps left. Second to last one, find the darkest lipstick you can find. Uh, when I play Midnight, I will use dark purple or sometimes even black. So today we're going with this like dark gray, black, silver color. All right, time for the very last step. We're going to add some lashes. Ooh. Lastly, we add a little bit of mascara to blend our new lashes into our old lashes. Now if I was playing Midnight, I would add some black gems under one eye. I think I'm done. And now it's time for the grand finale, the makeup tutorial that you're all here for. I'm going to be turning myself into Flash Pop. Now with Flash Pop, I try to go for a slightly more natural look, so instead of using a can you believe that? For flash pop, I go for a more natural look. I definitely try to put on a little less makeup because flash pop, you know, is 16 and doesn't have time to be putting on a ton of makeup when she's fighting crime. So I use this BB cream instead of a foundation. Um, I actually have no idea the correct way to put on BB cream. I have never done it correctly in my life. So I'm just gonna do it the way I always do it and it usually turns out just fine. We're gonna add blush, teeny bit of contour, but not that much. Now we're gonna do some eyeshadow. And this one does not use a lot of dark colors. We are mostly just sticking with purple, and then probably even another palette of purple. <laughs> I like purple. Now my eyelids might be bright purple right now, but they're not very sparkly, so we gotta go back and add some shimmery purple on top. And then I'll choose a nice light colored sparkle for the highlight. And then I might add a little bit of like a different color highlight, just to like tip of my nose, tops of my cheeks. The last thing we have to do is adding eyeliner and lipstick and lashes. So I guess the last three things we have to do. Great, now find your most purple lipstick. Like the most purple lipstick you can find. This is what I have right now. It's not the one that I usually use at Totally TV, but that one broke. So, I have this one, and we're gonna see if it looks as good. All right, we're gonna add lashes. You know what I forgot? The gems, of course. The gems are what make a super pop look so super poppy. Every super pop puts their gems in a different place. I put mine right here at the top of my cheek, just beneath my eye, one big one and one small one, and then the same thing on the other side. Flash Pop always puts her gems right here. Now there's just one last step. There we go. Added my Flash Pop hair and a purple cardigan to complete the look. And now I am fully in pop mode. Now remember, if you choose to dress up like me, Flash Pop, for Halloween, make sure you post a picture on Instagram and tag me in it. My handle is at the Princess Live. Tune into my Halloween live stream happening this Saturday, Halloween at 9 a.m. I'm so excited to see you guys there. I have special announcements, costumes, activities, and all sorts of fun. Make sure you comment down below what you're going to be for Halloween and let me know if you're gonna be joining my costume contest. Hit the like button if you like these makeup tutorials and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more spooky Halloween fun like this all year round. And remember what Flash Pop always says, super pops, we can't be stopped. And also, scary later.